two uninhabited Pacific islands. More than 5,000 miles from the UK. One will be inhabited by 14 British men, while a separate island will be home to 14 British women. When pushed to the limits of human endurance, will it be brute power or mental strength that wins the day? Who will have what it takes to stay alive? Tonight, we follow the women. In 21st century Britain, old-fashioned ideas about men and women have disappeared traditional gender roles have become blurred. Women are often expected to do it all, combining childcare with excelling at work. Don't let that happen again. I don't know who's doing it. It's really, really embarrassing and unprofessional. But if stripped of all of the advantages of modern life, a multitasking 21st century women better cut out for survival than men. To find out, I'm abandoning 14 ordinary women to fend for themselves on a remote desert island. They will be utterly alone. It's been with my family. Filming everything themselves. Right, you're filming me, filming you. That is the biggest chef I've ever seen. They'll have to hunt for food. You're all right, Eva. For water. Yeah, it's collecting water now. And for shelter. Oh, for <laughs> sake. The women will be taken to the very edge of existence. <laughs> Living on the island for six weeks in the middle of tropical storm season. It's like a tornado. That is terrifying. <laughs> we need a radio in medic now. It's not a program. It's ridiculous. Wow. Just remember to how you felt when you felt shit, OK? And leave it there. <laughs> when pitted against the extremes of nature, <laughs> have these Monday women Got what it takes to survive. Guys, <gasps> that is a big. People hold a lot of their self worth in things like money, what they're able to buy, what car they have, what clothes they have, makeup, how beautiful they are. When all of that's gone on the island, I think it all comes down to what sort of a person you are. I think you've got to be slightly mental to want to do this, right? I think you've got to be slightly off your tree. As human beings, it's the closest we're going to come to a reboot. I'm about to abandon 14 British women on a remote, uninhabited Pacific island. I want my daughter to know that her mum is actually quite brave and she's not just this person that's there to make tea. I want to show her that you can do anything. Really looking forward to going back to the hunter-gatherer, our animalistic roots and finding your own food. I think it's only by pushing yourself to these extremes that you get to find out who you truly are. These are ordinary women with no previous experience of surviving in the wild. I'm not going on because I can kill an animal and I know I can survive and I can chop down a tree. I'm doing this because I can't, but I'm eager to see if I can. It's the adventure. There's so much I haven't seen. There's so much I haven't done. I'm running out of time and I might be running out of health. How fast are we going right now? About 30 knots. We can go really fast. Oh, wow. I think people often think that to be good at adventure or survival, you've got to have big muscles. But actually, in the battle to stay alive, it's one in here and in here, not on these. Get me on the island, all of us girls. I think we will not only survive, but I think we'll thrive. This is your island, straight ahead. There's no beach! Oh. There are a lot of currents around this, OK? So I'm going to try and find these little areas of slack water to get you in. Unpredictable riptides and hidden rocks make these waters treacherous. 
This is the closest I can get the boat to the shoreline. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you guys. It is going to be hard. It's going to be hard physically. It's going to be hard emotionally. And the thing to remember is positivity, positivity, positivity. It's not the white beaches and the sun that we were actually, daydreaming of. I was OK until I got to this point, and now I'm really panicking. How deep is that? You know, it is going to be out of your depth. There are rocks in there. Just be smart. To get to the island, the women have no choice but to swim to the shore in the clothes they're wearing. It's the thoughts of being all night, no dry clothes and no fire, because we have to make mistakes. Don't think about it, don't think about it. Just, just one by one. It's going to take We'll just cuddle each other tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's allowed the old wind. Once we get you in the water, you'll be done with it. Yeah. Yeah? Can't then it's, all, then it's all in front of you. It's all uphill okay? from here. You'll be great. You'll be great. It's all uphill from yeah. here. Yeah. You're good to go. Okay. Let's go, Fred. The women take with them bags and cases containing their filming equipment and medical supplies. This is crop territory. Let's get you out of the water as fast as we can. Okay, let's go. Let's go. From this moment on, they'll be completely alone. Who are you? George. George, excellent. I'm Becky. Becky, hi, Becky. Happy. Happy. So nice to meet you. I'm Harvela. Nice to meet you. <laughs> what did you do? I'm a psychotherapist. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Belinda, I'm Jamie, 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 Jamie. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Ah, oh, Becky. Hello, yeah. Belinda. Oh, so emotional. Well, that was suitably chaotic. You know, it's four o'clock. It's going to get dark here in a couple of hours, and already, you know, they've been. 15 minutes, chat, chat, chat on the beach. They need to work hard, get moving. But, yeah, it's nothing I can do. These are things they're going to find out. It's time for me and the crew to leave. We won't be back till the end of the experiment. Oh, I am peeing. I'm peeing, I'm peeing, I'm peeing. Oh, I still need to pee. I don't know if I want to pee through my trousers. I'm oh, just going to drop them. The women's home for the next six weeks is this remote, uninhabited Pacific island. To make sure they have a fighting chance of survival, I've ensured there is enough water, indigenous animals and vegetation to keep them alive. But only if they have the ingenuity to find it, catch it and kill it. I've dropped the group in the most inhospitable part of the island. There's unforgiving jungle and deadly creatures all around. Now, just two hours before sunset, the group need to move away as quickly as they can. Are you still weeing, Jade? I'm weeing. I need to find that peaceful moment where I can actually wee. But I am, look, the thing is, I'm weeing. And then I push more and wee more. I think it's because I've held it in for so long. Guys, it's really dense up here, so we need to get moving. We're just going to try and take all the kit up this slope, basically. Bring it up, because I think the tide's coming in. And then try and find some way to fucking sleep. Can you take this camera, of course? All of the women will be filming, but four of the group are trained and experienced camera operators. Not again. They'll be living under exactly the same conditions as everyone else. Please, could you just push me at my back? No, it's my weight. I can't get it up. Here, wait. Oh, my hand. That's it. That's what I needed. The women have no food and just one day's supply of drinking water. <laughs> we need a decent place to sleep tonight because it's nearly dark. We're not going to have it here. We need no, to, we we need to move. To go. We really do. Right, who wants to carve the way? To stand any chance of surviving, they've been provided with three knives, three machetes and some basic fishing equipment. Anybody that's using a knife, just tell us. Don't whip it out. <laughs> Are we going right or straight? Guys, should we get together and have a chat? Because well, let's ask yeah. Let's come yeah. up, there's a clearing. With little daylight left, the group's priority must be to find a safe place to camp and quickly. We can't just come off a boat and stay in the same place. 100%. 100%. Do you want to lead the way? Make a decision, you lead the way. Anywhere you think it looks the clearest, we'll follow you. 
I'm not going that way, right? It's more dense, and the light is through over here, so I want to go over here. Guys, be really careful when you come in on this trail. I'm still going up. Go on, keep going. Need to get the fuck out. <coughs> what? Oh. Right, stay still. Oh. We've got dinner. Oh my God. What is it? Snake. Oh. Oh. It's right near me. A huge fucking snake came it's towards fine. me. I think what you need to do. Fucking hell. Right, it's going up the tree, girls. Shall I just chop its head off? <gasps> it came right at me. What? What's head? And it came straight towards me. And it was straight on her. That's why I ran away. Oh, fuck. I'm going to fucking die on this You're island. Right. You're, you're not going to die. Fine. You are not going to die. It came right towards me like that. Just breathe slowly and walk up to me How now. How am I going to sleep in this island? Come on. What's her name? Jamie. Jamie, oh. come to me. Oh, my God. Just I come even... to me. Right, I'll come to you. <sighs> oh. To be honest, I'm frightened of everything. Bogs and snakes and crocodiles and sharks. But I really, really want to overcome the fear. Materialistic things really shouldn't matter, but unfortunately they do matter a lot to me. I can't imagine what it's going to be like going back to complete and utter basics it might change me into a new woman completely. I have no idea. Oh, I was on island for two minutes and a snake attacked me. Fuck me. I don't want take, a snake coming take towards me. Take a deep me. breath, please. OK, Just okay. in. Just stand still <sighs> and breathe in. Right, and breathe out. It's not going to get you. It looks like it's bloody coming. It's bloody not. Stop right, okay. fucking looking for it. So, basically, um, the whole place is crawling with snakes. Go on, move on. Keep moving. I want to get out of here. <laughs> when you're pushing through dense jungle into the unknown, everything is a potential threat. You've got caiman crocodiles, you've got snakes, you've got wild pigs, all of which are most likely to attack when they're surprised. You let your guard down, the wild is going to bite you on the backside hard. I feel like everything's crawling on It's me. not. You've got to try and just take your mind away and just pretend you're walking through some lovely area of a botanical garden. <sighs> oh, shit, they're yucca. Oh, where? Right right in here. front of us. Look. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> we got a yucca. Guys, we need to get our priorities straight. It's an early win. They've identified a valuable source of carbohydrate. We're getting too excited about your car. <laughs> I'm actually quite concerned about sleeping, not your car. This is nuts. I didn't know places like this existed. Oh, my hair. It's caught on a bike. Okay, more spikes. Oh. Guys, there's spikes on this that you can't even see. We're getting denser. Is everybody happy to continue through this? Well, I, um... I think we need to think about how much sunlight we have left. If I have to, I'll walk through the dark because I am not sleeping here because of that snake. I, I'm with you on that one. I don't know what else is here. With light running out fast, the women are no closer to finding a beach to set up camp. Guys, where we just stopped, where there is quite a big open space, this might be a good place to just base. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Right. Yeah. I really, really do feel like I want to get out of this area because I feel like we've made absolutely zero progress. Let's get out of here. It's really um, making me quite anxious and stressing me out. 14 British women have been abandoned on a remote Pacific island with nothing but the closest stand up in and a few basic tools. Sorry, Tree. What I want to find out is has all of this cushioning that civilization has experienced, has it made us totally lose touch with that survival instinct that I believe is deep within us all? With night closing in, the women have decided to abandon their search for a beach and set up camp in the jungle, taking their chances with the deadly critters. Strength isn't an outward thing, it's an inner thing, it's an inner quality, and whether you're a man or a woman, you can have that. It's about how you react to the hardship. Again. 
when we get off there sailing. It just got changed and now it's raining, oh, yeah. so I've, got, I've only got my normal yeah, pants. I, 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 if the women are to survive, they'll need to live through six weeks of the tropical storm season. At its worst, the torrential rain can dump up to an inch of water in an hour. My current knickers and trousers are wet through, so I feel like I've sh wet myself a bit. I'm wearing a shitty nappy. I have dry socks, though, which are in my bra, keeping <laughs> even drier. Yeah, that's a good idea. Without shelter, the only protection the women have from the elements is their raincoats and ponchos. It's absolutely hideous. It's going to get dark soon. Yeah. And that will mean that there's no heat at all, so we will go to bed cold and damp. And we'll have to sleep on a cold and damp jungle floor. Look, my fucking hands. And my hairdresser. And, like, I can't afford this. Do you want to see the water coming out of my socks on film? <laughs> 7 p.m. and the women are determined to get a fire started. If you can find another tree with some of that, great, but that'll burn very, very quickly. It's cold and it's horrible. I'm trying to actually not even think about it. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment, just focus on what's going on and not focus about the dark. Because if we don't get a fire and we sit down, awful. After just two days survival training, Becky, Georgina and their team have made a bow and drill. And we move this really sl <laughs> slow and low, Becky. I well, like it long and I like it slow. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning one piece of wood against another should create enough friction to produce a burning ember. I mean, honestly, who'd be a bloody caveman? <laughs> We've done it once, we'll do it again. We can do this, girls. We can do it. We can do it. Right. Right, we're all so desperate to make fire, and the conditions are just so wet. I just have a feeling we're going to stay up all night and try and make fire. Is there any smoke coming from here at all? How long do you think the girls have been at it now? Three hours, maybe more, maybe more than three hours. These women I'm with are amazing. I've gone from absolutely terrified to sheer Thrill and enjoyment. Oh, there's some tons of smoke. It's like a friggin' wigwam. Keep going. I don't think I can hold it much longer. Ah. Bloody good amber. Are we going for it? Maybe it's going too far on that. Yes. You're very nearly there. Here we go! Oh, oh my gosh! like to do this by uh, persistence, persistence, persistence. Yeah. Becky and her team's determination has paid off. Maybe a little fire. Fucking giant one! After just five hours of trying, these women have achieved what took mankind hundreds of thousands of years. Guys, how are we actually feeling about the fire? Most more importantly, what it does for the women is going to give them a sense that they're gaining control of their environment. Is everyone stripping off? Oh. <laughs> I've got my dress stuck in my knickers. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to sound too cocky too early. No, I don't think we should. I don't think we should at all. No. But right now, this we're, is... We're winning. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> fucking fuck me. What the fuck is that? What no, is please it? tell me that's not what a spider. It? <laughs> it's that big crab over there. Can you see it, Jules? <laughs> oh my god, there's no way I can sleep here. <laughs> can you fucking see it? hell! We're not staying here tomorrow. We're all going together and we're going that way. And we're not going to stop until we find a flaming beak. Oh, no. Lady's got crabs. <laughs> Women have had a restless first night on the damp jungle floor. I tried to have some sleep, but 
the noises in the night and the crabs that were creeping up on us, I just couldn't, I, I just sat up all the time with the torch, the head torch like that. I did, I woke everybody up with my fart. You did about five or six big loud ones. Yeah, well, no, 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 they weren't loud. <laughs> oh, no. You just decided to Walk sleep where up. I party. This is that uh, yucca, uh, and it's a bit like a potato. Despite lack of sleep, Julie's playing mum and has rustled up a little breakfast. We're very excited. We've got our first foods. Oh, hang on. Oh, my life. Not as nice as normal food. <laughs> when we're actually starving, it'll be absolutely amazing. The group may have found food. Add to the collection. Uh, what what is that? <laughs> oh, it's swollen. Uh. Really but during painful. the night, it's the women themselves that are featured on the island menu. Look at my bear. He's got like a full face of spots. So I can't even like wipe my eyes. Use my hands are dirty. Look at my nails. Basically, I cannot be dealing with this. One side of me is like. I, I, I want to do this, I love nature, I am one with nature. And the other side of me is just like, look at my fucking face. <laughs> you know, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you always look gorgeous you're when you're young, you do. <laughs> Don't be. Exactly. You know, we're all and young. You know Your boobs are better than mine. <laughs> you're man of false. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the urgent priority for the group is to find a safe place to camp away from the jungle creatures and near a sustainable water source. There's only going to be, what, like 20 litres of water? And that's not lasting us 14 people for very long. As nice as this camp is, we want to... <laughs> I am trying to be nice. <laughs> go and find the beach. Yeah. So one group's going to go look, and one group's going to stay here. Who's in the go group? Me. Can I come? Yeah. Have you got your whistles? And yes, we're whistled up. Going. Hold on a minute. You think that you can walk right round this island? We don't the know no, anything. Don't know. It's trial and error, think, isn't it? I don't think I so. think this decision has been made a little too quickly, and I just think we need to plan. Why don't we just um, stay here for another few hours thinking about it? <laughs> or we could go. <laughs> Are you not coming now? Yeah, I am. Off your butt, then. We're off. I've done the children, I've been mum, I've done my business. I'm at this age now where I need to do something for me. When I was younger, I did want to do certain things, but I never had actually either the balls or the friends to do it with me, and I didn't have enough balls to do it on my own. And now, I want to see if I can cope. So do you see if we go to the end of that, that bit there and see what's around the corner? I wish I had water with me. With nothing to carry it in, Abby and Fran's group set off with no water. I'm really hoping we find a beach because last night was not fun. My body does not like this at all. I hope there's paradise beyond these rocks. Finding a good camp is a key priority. They'll need a base with vital resources close at hand. The sea for food, the materials to build a shelter, and a plentiful water source. Let that be a beach, please. Is oh, my this... God. It's grim. I have a feeling when the tide is high... Yeah. ..that disappears. Yeah. What, the whole of that? I agree. And that's a mangrove there. Yeah. This whole thing's been futile around this side, then. This is shit. What do you want to do? I need to have a drink. So we have a good trek to get back to... ..drink town. I'm, like, shattered. We can't let this island take its toll on us on the second day. It's hot, we don't have water. Just even trekking is a risk right now. The women have left themselves exposed in oppressive 30-degree heat with nothing to drink. I'm sick. I have to sit down in a minute, I'm going to collapse. It's a long way back to their temporary camp. We've had a fall. Oh, fuck. OK, don't panic. Shit, no, don't. You're all right. Moment. 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 Oh, shit, no, wait. Sit forward. Sit forward. Got to sit you. forward. OK, there we go. Let's just put your head down low. Low, 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 low. Don't hit button. 
so sorry. I know. Do stop apologising. <sighs> In temperatures like this, the women have got to drink a lot, between two and four litres of water a day. If they don't, they're finished. Come on, friend. Let's do a little walk. My parents were Iranian, like, very overprotective, and I have literally lived such a sheltered life. All of the decisions in my life have been made for me. All they ever see is just study and get married. I want to prove that I can be independent, that I can survive, and that I can make decisions for myself. Yeah, go back, get drink. Let's see, I just feel like I'm on a bomb. I actually just thought we'd find some idyllic beach within 24 hours, but actually, the reality is we're actually only something like, oh, God, a few hundred metres away from where we jumped out the stupid boat. So right now I feel a bit of a failure. I can't believe we can't get out of here. The whole notion of surviving on a tropical island may sound idyllic, but the reality behind the picture postcard fantasy is brutal. And it may look like paradise, but trying to survive on an island like that really can be hell on earth. I've been trying to keep these tears in all along. Stop it, Jade. Just try and stop. Just try and stop, because it'll make you feel worse by crying. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great, I'm not going to lie. Day three on the island. The women have been forced to spend another night of misery in the jungle after failing to find a safe place to camp with a water source. Everybody just needs to find that bloody beach because I'm not staying here again tonight. No way. Stop with the tears because it's not, it isn't going to do anything. It's not going to change anything. I think Jade's really struggling with, with just getting used to, like, island life. As we all are. I know that sounds really harsh and I'm not being a bastard. I'm trying not no, to be, it's the but. Truth. Yeah, I, get it. I, understand what you mean. I sometimes with my children have to just say, shut yeah, up. Do you know what I mean? To pull them around? Or can't you channel your anger through somewhere else? Yeah, I'm angry with Bear Grylls. Yeah. Go with that thought. Yes. Just go with that thought. Yeah, I'm really angry with Bear Grylls. <laughs> More desperate than ever to get out of the jungle, the women are sending out another search party to find a beach camp. Can we form a circle or something so we can have a chat? But before they leave, Jade has an announcement to make. I am not prepared for something like this. I'm really, really glad that I've come here, but uh, I don't want to continue. That's perfectly fair. What is it that tips you over the edge that you just can't? with anymore. I mean, everything's wet, even my, my socks are wet, my shoes are wet. I've got bites all over my hand on my face, and yeah, they go in, and that it was, might not look as bad. Did you not think that was always going to happen, though, that we were going to get bitten and we were going to get wet? You're wet and you're cold and you're this, and you'll go back and, I'm and, have, and I'm you'll unwell. have food. I'm unwell. But I've been bitten to shit. I'm unwell and my health comes first. And... If we found the beach today, and if we did find the glorious beach, that things could be so different I don't know what to say. I know I can say. I don't want to. Yeah, and that's, yeah. The, that's all honesty. Yeah. Put my hands up, you know. So Put my shriveled, hanging nail, <laughs> bitten hands up. Jade, I'm really enjoying the experience, but I don't like that I've been bitten on my face. I feel like shit. I'm just looking at myself and the... I, I look like shit. I'm just kind of a bit over it. It's like, you know, if you don't want to be here, just fuck off. Unable to persuade Jay to stay, Foxtrot to Bravo. The women have no choice but to use their emergency sat phone to request her evacuation from the island. I know it's total bitching, but I'm just going to be honest. Um, she comes across really um, unintelligent. She is not intelligent enough to actually realise what she was getting herself into coming on the island. Bye, love. I can't get up. I've got nothing on my feet. After less than 48 hours on the island, hairdresser Jade is making her way to meet the boat that will take her back to civilization. What was the 
point in me waxing my bikini. I haven't even shown my legs yet. <laughs> The truth is, for the women on this island, every single one of them will have a low point. It is just the nature of survival. No. No. This is all about seeing who, in those moments, who rises and who crumbles. Right, everyone take a whistle. Thank, Thank you. you. Great. The women urgently need to get their search for a camp underway and find a permanent water source. Their original supply of drinking water has run out. All they have now is one muddy puddle. We've gone that way, we've gone that way. The one direction we haven't gone is that way. Yeah, that's where we are, I think. This time, 58-year-old Forrester's daughter, Fee, will lead the expedition party's hunt for a beach. I'm used to being in forests, oh, cool. and I'm not going to be really happy if people start telling me I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. The most important thing is that we go, and we go in a straight line. Seven women volunteer to join Fee on the trek, including furniture maker Kate. She's got the sense of direction I'm following her. Abby, Fran and three others stay behind in their temporary camp to keep the vital fire alight. We will come back with the beach. Please do. Go on, move on. Fee's plan is to cut right through the dense jungle interior to the opposite side of the island. This is not a decent route. It's full of vines and everything. <laughs> We're in a jungle. I know. Splitting up your group is a high-risk strategy. But if you do decide to send out an advance party... Preparation, preparation, preparation. It really is fundamental to good survival. And you've got to prepare for any eventuality. One small mistake can quickly spiral out of control. I've got our uh, group water so we can keep hydrated. With rations restricted, they've only brought two litres with them in improvised bamboo cups. In this heat, that's likely to last less than an hour. I love it. I actually think that's really tasty. It is nice, isn't it? And the bamboo flavours it. In the last nine or ten years, I've been made redundant four times. I went from being this high-flying career woman to nothing. I don't think the children have anything about me that they would talk to their friends about. You know, Daddy designs roads for a living. I don't think there's anything that makes me amazing to them. I have to finish it and have to do it and make my children proud of me. Fee? What? What about that way? That's downhill and there's lots of sunlight, which means... No, we've, we've, had, like, we've had lots of patches with lots of sunlight. What we need to do is get up here. Fuck. George, I'm just going to forge ahead. She's going through anything. Doesn't matter what it is, Fee's going to go through it. She's on her mission. George, I who gives a fuck? At least we're trying. Fee's expedition party are now deep in the island's jungle interior. Ah! What? What? Rip my trousers even more. <laughs> they couldn't get any more ripped. Fluids are running dangerously low, and they still have no idea how far they are from a beach or a water source. They're just losing so much water. In unrelenting 34 degree heat, the group are now sweating a litre of water an hour. The more we're sweating, the more we're losing, aren't we? Is that us run out of water or no? Yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. We've run out of water, which is pretty stupid, actually, I think. God, this is nuts. Lost and adrift in the jungle interior, the women have no idea when they'll find their next drink. It's hard work. It's just draining. <sighs> That being a spider's web. Is there any way to get fucking through? This is looking better. Wow, look at that. Sky! Woo! I can smell the sea. Fuck! If we get there, can we have a celebratory swim? If I'm not wearing any pants, we will just have to go for the full mu full on muff. Full Monty. Whoa! Well, I can feel it. Yeah, it's here. Oh, wow! I can see a fucking palm tree. Woo! Unless I'm delusional, that is the becking sea woman. This is for us. Guys, we found it! Is there a beach? Yes! Oh, my God! Woo! Woo! Look at this! Oh, my <laughs> God! Oh, oh, my God, it's been so Yes! Yeah! Oh, God! Amazing! Yes! Oh, oh, my God, it's like a... Oh, the relief! 
Did you ever think we would make it? Oh, honestly, Daddy, we did it. I know I'm gonna cry. Come on. Oh. This is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. And you know, if it was the most disgusting beach, it would still be the most beautiful achievement. Because that in there is horrific. We're going swimming now in that cool Pacific water. With the discovery of the beach comes a lifeline for the women. Honestly, I feel so dry, dehydrated. Basically, my mouth was feeling like Gandhi's flip flop. Um, no energy. Oh. We can clean our teeth and we can comb our hair. <laughs> and I found some flip flop. The expedition party have discovered a beach but they're yet to find a permanent water source. It looks like it might rain. So we might actually be showered on all night tonight. Shit. Coming down dark, we have no water, we have no fire, the sand flies everywhere. So, you know, there is potential for it to be amazing, but right now I'm just thinking, <laughs> oh my God, how are we going to get through the night? With night drawing in, the women have no choice but to sleep here and return to collect the others in the morning. I can actually smell myself. Yeah. I completely hum. Yeah. I bite our The so worst got... thing is our feet. Yeah. With no shelter, the group will have to take their chances with the elements. And the frustrating thing for me is we all bloody knew to go be prepared. Oh my god. 3 a.m. and the heavens have opened. Shepherding, freezing cold. I don't like this. The women's expedition party discovered a beach to base their camp, but haven't yet found the key to their survival, a sustainable water source. We had all under about, well, all of the palm fronds that we found for our bed. They're soaked through, stranded and dehydrated. What the good thing is about getting this wet is that we can wring out our shirts and suck them, and I'm really not joking. At the minute, we are barely coping with the situation in which we find ourselves. Barely. Are we? Hardly, hardly, actually. Barely. Because we didn't prepare properly. No. And that is the bottom line. And now we're sitting in the fucking rain again. Incredible. In the height of storm season, the weather can literally change in the blink of an eye. You know, one minute you're going to have scorching sunshine, the next thunder, lightning, torrential rain. And in these sort of extreme conditions, even the thickest jungle canopy is going to give you precious little protection. Seven a.m. It's day four on the island. At their temporary camp, the night of torrential rain has also had a disastrous consequence for the five women left behind. The fire went out last night because of the weather. All the kind of wood and everything we need was wet. So when we put it on the fire, it just, it just made the fire die. It's just gone out. The situation is critical. Without fire, the group have lost their only means of purifying the water from the muddy puddle. They're now down to capturing rainwater in Beth's poncho. This is what we're resorting to now. Roof water. On the other side of the island, the expedition party is also having to rely on an alternative source of hydration. Thank um, you. These coconuts are making my bowels move a little bit. <laughs> So I'm going to have to go and look for somewhere to try and do a poo. I may as well just do this. Because <laughs> I've got no fucking chances. The women set off along the beach, scouring the area for a sustainable water source. 
We saw all those river beds, and I reckon this is where one of them obviously comes out because we've got yeah. this massive drainage point of all this fresh water. Hang on. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that a huge water source? <laughs> it's slightly muddy, but it's not salty. Yay! <laughs> we found water! We just need to find a container now to boil it in and fire. <laughs> The discovery of the water source means a women can use this beach as their permanent base. Right, let's get going. But before they make a camp, they face a daunting trek through the jungle to collect the others. Have we got any water again now? No, we've got nothing. Have we not got any bottles of coconut water? Nothing. We've got nothing. So we're going on this trek knowing that we're going to get absolutely fucked and dehydrated. No, honestly, I have no idea if this is right, but we've made a plan, so we've got to stick to it. Navigating under thick jungle canopy is always going to be difficult. It's going to be unpredictable, you don't get reference points, you haven't got the sun to guide you. And embarking on a journey like that in 30 degree heat with no water, really, you're on borrowed time. You need to do it like you mean it. Let me show you. Brilliant. The women are marking their path to help find their way back to the beach on their return. Found a period tree. <laughs> it's on its monthly right now. <laughs> Let's go this way. It looks like there's a bit of a path. I think we should be going more that way. Which no way. way. No. That's going back on ourselves. Exactly. We're just, we've just got to keep going this way, I'm afraid. This is actually the opposite direction. This is, we're going back towards the beach. What the fuck is this? The expedition party are deep in the jungle interior and have mistakenly headed north in the wrong direction from their temporary camp. Now completely lost, they're doubling back on themselves. You know, you have to ask yourself the reason they haven't come. Do you think they're not coming? Well, they've got to come back. Abby and the others have been unable to relight their fire and they've run out of drinking water. They are now desperate for the other women to return. I'm really fed up. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, 100 metres from being dropped off. It's crazy. Which way do you think our current base is? Well, I think it... Oh, fuck. I'm so confused, I don't know. The expedition party remain lost and dangerously dehydrated. What just happened there? I was just calling so that hopefully the base camp will be able to hear the hello and make a sound back. Hello! <laughs> Listen! Shush. Hang on! Shush. Shush! Shush! Blow again, it was a one whistle response. Hello! Yeah, that way. They definitely whistled. I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't find the whistle at the other camp and that's why they didn't reply. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a bird. bird. It's a minor bird. So uh, it's this fucking bird. I think it's birds, yeah. Fucking bird. got a bit say. prematurely excited. Right, where the fuck do we go now? Moving through jungle, you get wall after wall of dense undergrowth. And what happens when everything looks the same, it's so easy to lose your bearings. And then you get that rising sense of panic. So that big tree there, it's got all my slash marks in it from the way we came. I think you're getting really confused with the directions because if you go up that hill, that is where we just came from. Except we came up from a beach there. We did not come from there, Fee, because I've been marking trees all along that route there. And I tell you, no, no, there's a, there's a much clearer way of saying it. The ocean. Let me what I would say, Fee, at the moment is that your way of saying it is that I'm right and everybody else is wrong. You're the one who's confident to say I've got a great sense of direction, but you're not taking anything from anybody else. Oh, yeah. There's another slash mark oh, here. Yeah. Oh, no. We have nothing to drink. We don't know where we are. Let's do my can't remember the time I felt this thirsty. How critical do you think our situation is now? I'm absolutely crapping my pants now. All I care about is water. That is all I care about, water. It's more than 24 hours since the expedition party left their temporary camp and are now further away than ever. Back at base, the situation is critical too. Well, they're not coming for us today, are they? Happy fucking Mondays. 
The women left behind are struggling to find dry wood to relight the fire, and without this, they can't purify the remaining water in the puddle. And they've barely eaten for four days. Do you think we should start a fire? Yes. Do you want to start clearing all that shite off the fire, Fran? I can't. My heart's beating like that. Must... Well, so is everybody's, Fran. They're all in the same boat. What for now? Let's not be bitchy, please. People can manage and people can't, and we'll have our ups and downs, but let's not bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, Deep come and sit here. Don't talk. Just come and sit here. Come and sit on the comfy chair and sit there. No. Right, don't let anyone fuck you off. Breathe in slowly, please. I've got so, a problem with so the crying. Well done, come in, I've then. got a problem with her sitting on her arse saying she doesn't feel well and not doing anything. All our hearts are beating fast. Do you, and she you just order me sit. about all the time? Because you do you know not. I do. Oh no, my that's God. not true. That's absolutely oh my not God. true. I'm sure on the first day. And I'm then. enjoying yeah. We're in day four now. She needs a fucking rest. Oh, and that's okay. it. Thank you. Just remember to how you felt when you felt shit, OK? Yeah. And leave it there. <laughs> Tension in the camera really high. It's just so hard. And I'm not going to leave this, so I've got this bit. I don't know how many days. Next time on the island... I think that's genuinely shitty, walking away and letting the rest of us die in a big way. We need to find food. That's the big issue in the camp. Woo! Yeah! Get it, get it, get it, get it! This island either wants to decompose you from the outside in... Ah! We nearly got killed, actually. Or eat you alive. Everything around us is trying to kill us. Ah! Yeah, it's a scorpion. I'm dropping like flies. We've not even started yet.